Should you start your presentation virtually with a salutation? Is it different than when you're in person? Many of you have asked me this question and I want to address it. Yes, it is the same. Don't start with a salutation in who you are because they still don't care. What they want is to be engaged. Again, they want you to solve their problem. So there's ways that you can do this in a very warm and inviting way. For example, as people start coming into that virtual room, have an open ended question for them like, what is your biggest pain point as a public speaker? Have them put their answers into the chat, reflect it back. This also gives you knowledge about how to approach some of these pain points throughout your presentation. Also, I feel like it's a good rule of thumb to have two or three more times throughout your presentation where you're getting them actively engaged with your content. This could be a poll. This could be putting people into breakout rooms. This could be asking or addressing another question. Have them put those things in the chat. Another trick that has worked for me is to have the person who is running your tech or the event planner, or maybe you recruit somebody in your office to kind of play a tit for tat. So for example, people might start putting their answers into the chat and your teammate there reads some of those answers back and then you reflect it back from there and then you start having a conversation. And so what unfolds is an entertainment. Your audience gets engaged because there's a relationship happening between you and this other facilitator. Make it fun, be creative. I know some of you have very technical information that you need to get out, but there are ways, even when we need to stay compliant, where we can bring more of our humanness into those conversations and into those presentations. My objective is that we don't waste your time or your audience's time. You might have a lot of technical information. You might have to stay compliant, but they are not going to remember that information. And I guarantee that they're going to have to go back and do their further research on the information you've already shared with them. So let's help our audiences out. Let's make it more engaging and fun so they can remember what our message is.